Hey everybody! Hi! <laughs> Welcome to the first advice episode of Spoiler Alert. People yep. have been emailing us, uh, emailing us in all week with their problems and life stuff. I'm gonna stuff it over in a second though because I have to sneeze. No, this is going in. This is how we're gonna start this <laughs> video. We've been so excited to make this for you guys, and luckily people have been actually emailing us, which is like the best thing ever. Exactly. So first off, thanks everybody who's emailed us for emailing us. It's been like such a pleasure to read. And we're so excited to solve your problems. I haven't even really looked at them yet, so this is all going to be off the cuff, guys. Exactly. So, um, Troy, would you like to read the first... I want to read it. Uh, you can choose the question you start with. Because we got a lot, so... We got, what, five or six? Five, I think. Five. Yeah. Five, you guys. Five, five. you guys. Your lives are going to be changed forever. Exactly. And if there's a six that emailed us in between the time we release this video and record, we're sorry. We'll get to you the next episode. Yeah, you'll be the first one in the next one. Yes. But... Okay, so this first question comes good from... Compliment. From yes. Rosie. Rosie. Alright. That's not hers. Okay. <laughs> That's ours. <laughs> so, have you ever gone on a first date that was just boring? Well, that's pretty much how all my first dates go. Every time a guy asks me out, we just end up have not having a lot of fun. Aww. Dates are supposed to be fun, right? Do you have any advice for someone who needs to find a way to spice up their first date? Also, really like the show so far. I can't wait to see more episodes. Yay, then you're really going to like you. this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we hope you are pleased with this episode. Exactly. And also, I have an answer for you. Yes, so she knows exactly what to do. Not per- well, yeah. Or Tori has come up with ideas to make first dates we more interesting. We actually had a similar question, and I had an answer then, and I was very, very excited because we had just learned about it in class. So, actually, the best first date you can ever take anyone on is something that totally scares them. <laughs> Because when you scare someone, their adrenaline starts pumping, and if you're next to that person, and you're not the one scaring them, so if you're near them, then that proximity makes them like you more. Exactly. So it's a good thing Halloween's coming up. Exactly. Right around the corner, Percy, so... You really need to, like, that's why um, a lot of, uh, what's it called? Amusement parks are really great first dates, because you can go on roller coasters, um, scary movies, really great first dates. Right. So that, I don't know, just the adrenaline pumping and everything makes people cling to whoever's next to them, boys or girls. So it's a very good idea to go to somewhere scary. But you should not be the scary part of the date. <laughs> exactly. At that point, you might be the reason that they don't want to hang out with you and why first dates yes. are awkward. I am not saying, <laughs> as one of my friends pointed out, that he should get a machete and take it to the date and scare the girl. No. And you know who that friend is. Yeah, you know watching. who you are. Don't do that. <laughs> we repeat. <laughs> we've said this on the radio show before. But please, do not do this. Take them to an amusement park or something like that. Um, that's what I have for more exciting. If all your guys are just duds, you know what? I would say go into a date thinking that someone's a dud and just have fun. With yourself. Exactly. Make it like, you know when you play chess against yourself because the other person is so <laughs> stupid? Do that. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. Right? I, I would love to see you just like go on a first date and completely take it over. Exactly. And regardless of what advice that you take from us, from whatever we said right here, let us know how this hap goes because I'm very curious how this is going to turn out for you. I hope yeah. you find like a good first date. Well, yeah, we want to know if this works, but yes. for sure, just like, I don't know, you probably aren't. I don't know. It seems like too much to say don't try so hard, but maybe just go into it looking for more fun. That's true. Like, don't feel so pressured to have fun. Just go into it going, this is just a first date. Who even cares about this guy? It's some random guy. Who cares about him? I want to have fun, and I care about me, so we're going to make this a fun night regardless. Good point. And yeah, make sure you enjoy yourself, if anything. Yeah. So, amusement parks, scary movies, well, this is good scary stuff. Um, skydiving, if you can. Skydiving. If you can convince someone to do a first date at skydiving, then, I mean, they probably already like you, so. Hope, yeah, <laughs> actually, that's probably a good way to figure out if they like you, skydiving. <laughs> that's how you filter out all the potential applicants. Um, go to a graveyard at midnight, walk around. Go to a graveyard at midnight, Anyway, so, we hope your first date goes well, though. Please and let us know how the next one goes. So this question comes from Bart. Bart was actually really curious about the kind of questions we take. He writes... So what kind of questions can we ask you guys? Or do you even care? My roommate always seems to be eating my food and he won't listen when I tell him to cut it out. Any advice? So to Bart, to answer your first question, we take any questions. So if anyone out there is curious about anything, or even wants just to know about me, more about me and Tori, yeah. feel free to ask us and we will definitely answer on one of our videos. Any, Pretty open, open anything. answering any questions. Yeah. As you will find out soon within this video. 
Uh, to answer your second piece of advice, your roommate keeps eating your food and he won't listen to you when you uh, tell him to cut him out. So, he seems like an asshole, by the way. Yeah, first off that. Secondly, secretly start uh, slipping laxatives into your food. And then, like, over a period of time, he'll stop eating your food. You might have to switch bathrooms uh, for a bit, but that'll solve your problem for the short there's time. There's an being. idea. Less disgusting idea. <laughs> okay. Put it in your room. Things that you can. That's true. Like, I used to keep um, things that I really wanted. Like, I had a box of granola bars that was expensive, so I didn't want to buy it again. So I just put it in my room just so that no one would take it ever. Little things like that. I kept my cereal in my room for a while. Seriously talk to him. Like, seriously sit him down. It's like, dude, I'm going to punch you in the face if you keep eating my food. And then punch him in the face. Like, you got to actually do it. <laughs> um, like, right after you tell him? <laughs> no. I mean, you got to be ready to follow through. Oh, I mean. okay. I imagine and the conversation would go like, hey, dude, you seriously have to stop talking my food? Smacks him in the head. I mean, you can. <laughs> Whatever. And if you, you do tell... You might so that'd be good. <laughs> and if you do, tell us how that goes. <laughs> um, Hope your next email is not from prison. I would suggest looking for either another roommate or another place. That's true, too. He doesn't sound like the good roommate for you. And considering it's the start of an academic year, you might... Like, have the opportunity to switch roommates for now when it's early. So, yeah. hopefully this goes well for you and you can find peace with your roommate. <laughs> You're being so nice about everything. Stop, like... I'm sorry. I actually Qualifying don't... everything with nice. I... Oh, our third one is from Marcus, who we really want to thank because they are our highest liked uh, oh, right. commenter on YouTube. Exactly. Go so, Marcus. Go Marcus. Who are you? Okay. <laughs> That's not the question. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not him. Okay. So, I guess I need some advice. I've just moved into my new place and was thinking of getting a pet. What kind of pet do you think I should get? Keep in mind that I've never had a pet before. I'm a little worried about having to take care of another living thing. I also have a roommate. Do you think he'll get he'll mind if I get a pet? <laughs> and do you think I should adopt a pet or buy a new one? So, just to st I think we should start with the roommate thing. Yes. I don't know who your roommate is, and so I don't know if he'll mind. You need to ask him. Yes, that's the first <laughs> thing you have to do before you get a pet. I cannot tell you the answer to that. Unless you're the guy who keeps stealing his food and won't, like, stop, then maybe you should move out. But definitely ask your roommate if a pet's okay for your place. Also your landlord. And your landlord. Or wherever, whatever kind of place you're living. If you do not own the place that you are living at, you need to ask your landlord. Or, I mean, if you don't care, then exactly. whatever. The last thing you want is for you and that pet to, like, bond for a while, only to have you realize that you can't keep it anymore. That would be sad. Yeah. Okay, so... Next part. So you're a new pet owner, so I would recommend that you start with something small. So, like... So, when you say you've had no pets whatsoever, you mean, like, never had a goldfish? That's a good question. Let's wait for him to answer. <laughs> Come on, Marcus. <laughs> exactly. Because I would suggest a goldfish to start out with. That's boring as hell. I would suggest a stuffed animal, just to see how you are okay with keeping something in A pet inanimate. rock, maybe. A <laughs> pet rock, that's a great idea. <laughs> do they still sell those, you think? Yeah, they totally do. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> just pet rock would be good. For it. Um, but yeah, if you, I'd recommend something small, just because, you're right, you are taking care of another life. Specifically, what would you recommend? I'd, I'd say a fish. A like squirrel. Fish. I would recommend a cat. So, oh, the cats are cool. Cats are cool because they're pretty low maintenance. They come potty trained. Oh, that's good. If you good. put a litter box anywhere, cats will, mo like, 95% of the time, I think, like, cats will go in the litter box the bathroom. That's good. You can keep an outside cat if you want to, and then it's, like, never there. You only have to feed it. And cuddle it when it like wants you to cuddle it or you can have an inside cat <laughs> and then it's just always around but even inside cats they're pretty chill man they don't give a shit if you do anything you're like i would like to be alone right now and that's pretty much it yep and tori knows because she has a cat named oreo yep i have a cat and he's pretty much just off doing his own thing until we feel like we want to hang out with him and then he's like yep that's cool with me. And then five minutes later, he's like, nah, let's do our own thing again. That worked out better. Yeah. So <sighs> I would say cats are pretty chill. We should brought Oreo onto the show for this. Like, as a good example of a good pet. Because he's so easily... And my suggestion, fish, just because it's a little maintenance. Like, you only have to feed them once a day. And, like, besides keeping the tank clean, um, you don't have to worry about them at all. Boom! Too boring. Plus, they don't run away. So that's always a good... That's always a good sign. Nah, fish are boring. Get a cat. Screw it all. Okay. <laughs> Number four, I think. Maybe. I don't remember. Uh, this one comes from Cal. Hi, Atori and Justin. My name's Cal. It's short for a longer name, but whatever. Anyway, I need some help. It's a really long message. Oh, guys. yeah. Buckle in, guys. I'm in my senior year, and I've got this crush on this friend of mine. We met our first year at school here, and we always got along. I know their family, and they know mine really well. And even though we don't spend all of our time together, we still spend all of school and some weekends talking. Lately, I've heard uh, from some of their friends that they like me, too. My big question 
is about our school's first dance. It's coming up really soon, and a lot of people treat this first dance like an early prom. Some people even do、uh, big gestures to ask out their significant others. I guess my question is, how should I ask out my friend? Ooh, this is getting interesting. Oh my god, this is cool. This is our last year of high school, and in previous years we just joked about it and we went together. I want this year to be, real,、uh, to be really memorable. Sorry for the long question, but you both seem like cool people to ask. Plus, I really liked your Minecraft video. Aww. Link in the annotation right next to me. And. Because <laughs> it was really funny. Minecraft is one,、uh, one of me and my friends' things in common. Aww. Hope you guys get this soon. From I'm glad、Cal. we're giving you such a quick answer. Also, <laughs> Justin has asked out a few girls in really、okay. elaborate ways, so he's going to answer this question for you. <laughs> and you're taking. First, I'm just really happy for you. Because. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm just really happy for you. Please let us know how this come, turns out, regardless of how you end up handling the situation. Anyway,、uh, back I'm to. I'm really、uh, happy for your friend. This is going to be awesome for them. Oh, yeah, exactly. She, she's going to be like so. He, she. He, oh, yeah. Anyone, whoever you ask whoever you ask to this dance of yours, they're going to be so happy that you asked them. Probably, I'm totally sure. Hold on. Before he says his answer, if you want to show her this video and have us ask her out for you, oh, please. Hey, person that's a friend of Cal. Do you want to go to the dance with him? Exactly. He, he seems like a really nice guy. We like him. I know. And you he, should go to the dance with him. Oh, and you should also watch our Minecraft video because apparently you might no, like that. No, <laughs> That's rude. We, you should go to the dance with Cal. You should totally go to the dance with Cal. We support that. We totally do. But if you want to do it yourself, Justin has ideas. Yes. I was in a similar situation. I knew the parents, or I knew the sister of the person I want to ask out, and I knew where they lived because we'd hung out there before. <laughs> Creepy. I was invited over, firstly. Anyway, I, I came there with a really big stuffed animal, Winnie the Pooh. And they like Winnie the Pooh a lot, I think. So when I got up to their Wait, door. Let's, let's reenact oh, it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So,、um, so this is me. I knocked on the door, rang the doorbell, and then the door opens. Hi. And then when they saw it, it wasn't me, it was Winnie the Pooh. Oh, my and, God. Like, and then Winnie the Pooh was holding something, saying. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh was holding a sign that said, Will you go to prom with me? And then she said yes, hugged Winnie, <laughs> hugged Winnie the Pooh, and then slammed the door in my face. <laughs> no, that's not what happened.、Uh, she said yes, hugged Winnie the Pooh, and then I moved out of the way, and then she saw it was me. Then we hugged, we took. Wait, so she saw ye- said yes before she saw it was you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Note before, I was invited over. So she knew I was coming. I'm just amused that she was just like, yeah, yes, Winnie the Pooh, I love you. Stuff, man. <laughs> no. That's a good one. Okay. But yeah.、Um, and then she hugged it. We take, took pictures and she really liked it. And she, she still has it to this day, which is really <laughs> nice. Okay. And, and your Facebook one. Yes, that one was the fun one. That was me being like trying to be creative, but at the same time safe. So、um, what I did first, I was reconnecting with this old friend of mine. And we talked over Facebook a lot, but didn't get to see each other in person quite as bit. So I was wondering, like, oh shoot, will I be able to ask her to prom or not? So what I did was I made this、um, hidden Facebook album. I made it private for a while. Because he's a wimp. You can make yours public if you want. <laughs> I would not recommend it just in case.、Uh, let me finish the story first. So、um, what I did, I made the album and I put pictures of me in like, normal clothes saying, like, hey, I know it's been a while, and then next picture. With、uh, a sign. Well, yeah, with a sign I've been doing these with sign. signs and holding them up.、Yeah. No, I like putting things in signs. So I've been、uh, thinking about you a lot, and it'd be really cool if, and then the next slide was, if you would go to prom with me. And when I, the, if you would go to prom with me part,、uh, it was because the rest of the pictures were just me in casual clothes. I put on a tuxedo for, will you go to prom with me sign. And then、um, I was gonna, the next picture was, if yes, and then I had, the next picture was me with flowers for her in the picture. And then, Um, Did you have an if no one? No.、Oh. <laughs> and then I had handed her the flowers in the picture. Very cute. And it was really nice. And she immediately said yes, and it was great. And, and then he made it public. And then I made it public. So no one noticed that. I made it private in case she said no, and I didn't want to put her in an awkward position of rejecting me publicly. But she didn't know it was never public. So technically, she was always in that awkward position. Anyway, those are two really good ideas. Exactly.、Um, buying her stuff, always fun. Making so, cool, humongous gestures in front of people, always、exactly. good. And I believe, re- regardless of what it is, she's going to be surprised regardless of what you do. So,、mm-hmm. 
Whatever. Also, we keep saying she ignore us. Oh yeah, sorry. This is force we're... of habit. This yeah. is something called heteronormativity that would be my social. Problems. Let's not get into that. Okay. It's just because we're talking about him, and he's asked these two girls out. Yes. Um, but whoever you ask out to prom, I'm sure they're going to enjoy the gesture, whatever you end up doing. Um, I'm sorry if we didn't come up with more specific suggestions for you. Um, let us know what you end up doing, too, yeah, if you like our suggestions. I would say go big, man. If you're last year of high school. Exactly. This is, the, this is the time. And if, if you don't go big for this, there's, there's always prom. So No, go big for this. <laughs> and prom. Go Do big everything. for the rest of your life. Just go big. <laughs> That's great advice. Why are you laughing? No, I'm actually serious. Go big. This okay. is an opportunity that you won't get back, so And here's enjoy our it. last question from Joy. Right. So, I'm a high school student who will be graduating soon, and I'm a little nervous. I live in a pretty small town, the sort of place where everybody knows everybody. Now I'm going to a university with around 30,000 students, and those are just the undergrads. That's humongous. My question is, how do you get over being so nervous at college? I want to make a good first impression and not be a nervous wreck when I shake someone's hand for the first time. What if I don't make any friends? What if my nerves affect my schoolwork? I'm pretty desperate for anything right now. Thanks in advance. Oh, joy. <laughs> I hope your nerves don't last too long because college is so much fun. It is a lot of fun. I promise. It's so cool. Exactly. All the nervous feelings, all the nerves that you think are building up inside of you, everyone else is probably feeling something similar So too. much. We had to talk about this because my younger sister and a friend's younger sister are both starting college, and we were talking about how nervous they are. And we remember being that way and thinking no one else would ever be this nervous. And then talking to all our friends and going, oh yeah, we were all so nervous that first week. Yep. It was horrible. <laughs> but if you're lucky, you might end up finding someone the first day who gets to be your friend for the rest of your life. Yeah, and if not, don't worry about it. Go to some mixers. Go knock on the dorm room next to you. Go Visit clubs. Visit join organizations. Clubs. Talk to the person next to you in class. The great thing about college is that there are so many There's avenues. There's so many people. There's, there's so many people, and there's so many avenues to meet people, because exactly. they're everywhere. They're like ants. <laughs> That's a great way to well, compare this, future like, friends. <laughs> yeah, it's like 30,000 people. It's just going to be so easy for you to just turn to the person sitting next to you, to the person in the next dorm room, to someone at a club, and just completely bond over anything, I promise. Exactly. So, Tori, if you were going to meet someone for the first time, let's do a little reenactment. So, you're trying to make a friend. How do you start a conversation? Oh, uh... I'm Tori. I'm Panda. How you doing, Panda? Good. I'm a little nervous. It's my first day at school here. Oh, cool. What major are you? Undecided. Fine. What class are you taking? I haven't registered yet. <laughs> Do you need help? I love registering for classes. True story, actually. That's true. It's like my favorite thing in the world. I love making schedules for people. Do you want some help? Yes, sure. This is an oddly good relationship to make Perfect. the first day of school. Yes. You are my best friend now. And then Tori took, Tori took my panda pillow for the rest of the day. I love you. Okay, uh, <laughs> and they fell in love. So, it's a very soft pillow, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just talking about anything, see? Just the normal questions for um, college, I know, is what's your major? Where are you from? Justin and I met at college, yeah. and our first question is, where are you from? Oh, here. What a Me coincidence. Too. I am, too. You'd be surprised about the amount of similarities you have with the random people you end up meeting. It was really so. weird. It's like, what's your favorite movie? Oh, that's my favorite movie. What's your favorite TV show? Your favorite musical? What's your major? Yeah, what's your major? <laughs> what, I don't know, what class are you taking if you're not taking money in your major? You can ask this to anyone. You're exactly. going to find someone with something in common with you. And the great thing about it being the first few weeks of school is that everyone is so desperate for that connection. Exactly. That when you find that person, you're going to just like click. 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 Exactly. Everyone's be. on equal footing right now. So you yeah. can make friends with literally anyone. It's great. And there are so many fun things to do in college. Like definitely join some clubs. If there's like research opportunities. Oh, yes. Those are super fun. But because you get to know the professor as well as the other students working exactly. with you. But yeah. Talk to all your dorm mates. There's usually dorm meetings and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes they're mandatory just so that way people know how to keep the peace within your area. Yeah. But they could also be fun. Those are great places to meet new people, There's too. usually some type of dorm mixer, so definitely go to that and have fun with that. Yeah. But yeah, so good luck. I hope you enjoy college. Exactly. And I hope whatever we suggested, because I know it might have been a little jumbled, helps. <laughs> so... Hope you guys enjoyed our first advice video. We had a lot of fun answering your questions. We definitely did. We're going to be trying to release these more often, depending on how many uh, more people ask us for advice. But it was a yeah. lot of fun answering these first couple. Exactly. So keep them coming in. And once you probably get, we'll probably stick to about five or six per an episode. Yeah. We'll go out a new one. Exactly. So don't worry if yours isn't answered right away. It's just we're waiting for a few more. Right. 
the people who we did email, make sure, uh, like, let us know how those, our advice works out, because I'm very yeah. curious how this... please email us back, we would love to keep in touch, and let us know how your life exactly. is going. If you have any follow-up problems from the advice that we give you, like, if we end up causing something bad, we'd love to help fix that, too. Yeah, please let us help. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed our episode. Yep. <laughs> um, please email us if you have any questions, and if you liked these advice questions, and please be sure to subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed these videos. Right. Um, so if you want to email us or are curious about what our email is, it's specificspoileralert at gmail.com. I hope that turned out really cool. I hope it's right there. Yeah, I hope it's right there. Right? Specific spoiler is somewhere in between my hands. The email. Press on that. <laughs>